We're here at the Manchester Lane test facility to measure three different levels of groove wear on SM6 wedges. The reason we're here is one, they have a 100 yard green that's perfectly flat. And two, they have a wedge robot. It hits wedges over and over again with exacting precision. It creates an enormous opportunity to really dive into new research and really find out exactly how to make wedges better. It allows us to land the ball and measure rollout to precise distances so we can figure out exactly at what point golfers need to think about hitting new wedges because their grooves are worn out. I play with four Vokey wedges and I change my 60 degree every few tournaments. The rest of the wedges I switch maybe every couple months. Every golfer on a daily basis doesn't need to be switching their wedges out that often, but we do need to provide them a benchmark of when they need to start investigating their wedges and when they should consider switching them out. We're gonna measure 125 rounds of play, 75 rounds of play, and fresh grooves. This is the 125 rounds of play wedge. What we saw on the 125 rounds of play head, 35 degrees of launch angle and 6,500 RPM. And that calculated to about 24 feet of stopping power. The second wedge we tested was 75 rounds of play. The 75 round wedge at 34 degrees of launch and about 7,700 RPMs of spin. And that calculated out to about 18 feet of stopping power. Now we've got the machine set up with fresh grooves. Let's see what happens. 33 degrees of launch, 8,500 RPM. A little bit less launch angle, but a lot more spin. We went all the way down from 24 feet of rollout to 10 feet of rollout. Once you get to about 75 rounds of play, you're gonna start to lose spin, and it's really time to start considering a new set of wedges with fresh grooves. By having a fresh set of grooves, the average golfer is gonna have more control, more confidence, and in the end, hit the ball closer to the hole.